Okay, uh, let me uh, briefly uh, explain the midterm examination. Was it the uh, what was the right answer for the first problem? Expect the frequency is it higher than one kilohertz? Higher than one kilohertz. Huh? <coughs> so what was the frequency? Uh, two kilohertz. Two kilohertz. So should be uh, more than like a. Okay. So one kilohertz is the sound. Sounds like. That's one kilohertz. Okay. And expect the sound pressure level. Is it higher than 60 dBA? And well, most of the student has to write that is lower than 60 dBA, except one student who just sit very close to the uh, speaker. And that was Kim Sung Hwan, I guess. Huh? Igi. Igi Hun. Where is it? Uh, so, okay, the third problem is a famous OX problem. Number A, if the frequency of noise that we want to control is well above the fundamental frequency or natural frequency, then we can use the mass law. Yes, right? B, the intensity of a sound wave that is generated by a monopole is well is all the same in the radial direction. It's all, right? O over X. O? Yes, it's all. It's all in radial direction. Sound pressure level is always lower than unweighted SPL. O or X? X? Raise your hand. Okay, then it's X because <laughs> why this is X? Why this is X? Okay. Okay, because SPL has to consider the uh, uh, the uh, the way we hear, right? Okay, if the sound wave propagate in a hot gas, then it would follow isosoma process. Is it O or X? X? Oh, uh, would you raise your hand who uh, answered the O? Okay, the answer is X. <coughs> because I, you confused me because I said it's hot gas. <laughs> okay. Fluid particle velocity and wave propagation velocity are linear related. O or X? It's not, it's not related at all, right? Okay. If the wavelength of interest is much greater than the distance from the sound source, then the sound energy is equally shared by its potential and kinetic energy. Yes, because in the far field, it propagates as if it is a plane wave, therefore, the acoustic uh, acoustic uh, impedance is rho zero c, and therefore the velocity and pressure pressure is rho zero c multiplied by velocity. Therefore, acoustic potential energy and the kinetic energy is equally equally likely. Okay. Okay, depending on the frequency that we have interested, the driving point impedance of a finite string can be that of an infinite string, O or X. X? O? X? I will repeat, depending on the frequency that we have interested, the driving point impedance of a finite string can be that of infinite string, meaning that 
driving point impedance of a finite string can be rho zero c depending on frequency. Yes. Okay, driving point impedance of finite string look like this is KL L is the distance between okay and driving point impedance look like cotangent KL, right? Hmm? Right? So Z uh, M0 equal to JKL cotangent no, J rho zero C so it look like and so on and so at this frequency the driving point impedance can be rho zero C hmm? J, right. So uh, you, 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 you said no because it is out of phase, therefore, therefore it cannot be the same as rho zero c, right? So you are right. Oh, 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 oh. So you saved many, many other students who did this. <laughs> okay, but. Did you did you explain the reason? Yes, good. And we have to look at the reason why you select O or X. Okay? That's very interesting question. What would be the Green's function which satisfy given boundary question as shown in figure P P three? And I just this is the uh, the problem you have and I I I thought that this problem would be very not very trivial to you to the students, but he very strongly suggested me to make this problem. Yeah. I have to agree with him. <laughs> mm? uh -huh. G? No, A. A? A? Uh -huh. Can be used. Yes. It should be about block frequency, right? Not natural frequency. No, it should be above natural frequency. I will explain later <coughs> in, the, in this lecture. Okay? About, okay. And the number five, which does sound louder, A or B? Explain the details. Which one sounds louder? Huh? B, the reason? Hearing effect. Okay. Number six. This is complicated problem. And I, I will express the fundamentals related with this problem on this, during this lecture. Okay? Okay, now, thank you very much. Okay, let me uh, start with the uh, uh, flat surface of this continuity problem again. Okay.